What's up guys, Adventurex here. In a previous video I did, I showed you guys the best Jeep Wrangler accessory ever. Except, Car Bottle's new digital dash is a game changer. Let's check it out. So here it is guys, the J Pro Digital Dash by Car Bottle. I'm gonna link this product in the description, so if you're interested, you can go and check it out. I wanted to interrupt this broadcast, guys, to let you know about the Adventure Dex discount code. Right now, you can go over for one week and use the code Adventure Dex at checkout for $100 off. This is for all my subscribers. I appreciate your support. Back to the video. Product in the description, so if you're interested, you can go and check it out. Let's get it unboxed. So inside the box, obviously, you have the new digital dash, which is just really, really incredible. It also comes with a set of buttons, so you can replace the buttons. I actually have some blanks, so that's gonna work out great. You have the two wiring harnesses. One is gonna allow you to transfer all the information from your old dash to the new digital one, and then you have a wire which you can update and program your dash. So let's start stripping down the inside and get this bad boy installed. So to remove the dash, there's three seven millimeter bolts that need to be removed. One is behind the window controls and two are behind the plastic trim that's underneath the steering wheel. You can simply give this plastic piece a tug, it'll come away and then you can remove the two seven millimeter bolts on either side. The window controls can just be popped out of place and then disconnected from the wiring harness. Inside, you can then access the one seven meter mill bolt that needs to be removed. With the bolts now removed, all you have to do is give the dash a good tug and it should come right out. There's four more seven millimeter bolts on each corner of the instrument cluster that need to be removed. You now should be able to pull the instrument cluster away and unplug all the wiring harnesses. To install this new set of buttons on the steering wheel, it requires us to move the airbag slightly out of the way to fit these in. So just as a precaution, what I'm gonna do is disconnect the negative terminal on my battery. To loosen the airbag, there's two 10 millimeter screws on either side of the steering wheel that need to be removed. Carefully slide the airbag forward. You do not need to remove it completely. There's also two more bolts that are located in the back of the steering wheel. These are Phillips head that can be removed with the screwdriver. Finally, you need to remove the T25 bolt that's holding in the buttons on the back of the steering wheel. There's also four more T25 bolts behind the airbag. You can simply slide the airbag out of the way, doing it carefully, and then go in and just remove the four bolts. Now we can pop the plastic trim off. Now that we have access to the back of the button, you can use a T10 to remove the three bolts and the wiring harness. And then you can simply slide the new set of buttons in place and reattach the three screws and the wiring harness. The next step is to grab both of the instrument clusters and the wiring harness provided. You're gonna plug two of the ends into the back of the factory cluster. 
You're then going to grab the new J Pro digital cluster and you're going to plug two into the back. And the other two ends are going to plug in to the factory wiring harness to program the new J Pro. So as you can see, we got two in the factory cluster, two in the J Pro, and two lines running up to connect into the factory wiring harness. So as you can see, when it first boots up, you're going to need a passcode, and this is so these dashes are basically VIN locked. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a call now. You can contact them on Instagram, on their website, or through a WhatsApp. I'm going to give them a call and get my activation code. I now got my activation code and I'm using the new buttons to input the activation code and then we should be able tonight we should be able to synchronize the unit. We put in our code. We're now going to press OK and watch it synchronize. Wow, that is crazy. We're now going to disconnect these wiring harnesses from each other. We'll be able to connect the J-Pro directly into the factory wiring harness. Now I'm just going to reattach the instrument cluster with the four 7mm bolts that were taken off previously. Now all we got to do is reattach the plastic trim. And tighten up the screws. All right, now that we got everything tightened, all we got to do is put the last piece of trim up and bam, the J-Pro is installed. All right, guys, so check it out. I'm going to put it in. Wow. First of all, the thing is ridiculous. It's super cool. Over on the left-hand side, you have two-wheel high, four-wheel high, neutral, and four-wheel low. You got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Don't follow the crowd. I love that. You got the Jeep over there, and then you have the customized Jeep Dex. Unfortunately, Adventure Dex couldn't fit. It's too much letters, but you could have, I think, nine customized letters, and you place that when you place your order. So I'm going to turn it on now. Check that out. This thing is wicked. I wish you guys could see it in person. Everything is digitalized, so you can see you have the fuel gauge and the oil temp. And I can use the new buttons now to scroll across through all of the modes. It's super intuitive and super responsive. There's no lag. And obviously, they put a lot of time and effort into each one of these settings. It's just ridiculous. This is incredible. Let's scroll into all of the settings tire pressure, oil filter, the odometers, got the music, the status, I mean this is just incredible. I took a couple minutes to explore the new J Pro and go through some of the settings and I gotta say I am blown away. I've installed a lot of products on this Jeep over the years and none as sophisticated as this one. Not only does it fit in seamless, plug and play, just like the factory cluster, but it's also super intelligent. There's so much information packed on this, and so stay tuned because I am gonna be also doing a review video to follow up, to show you guys all of the different settings and all of the different stuff that you can do right from the steering wheel. It's really incredible, I'm blown away. 
As always, I'm gonna put the link for the product in the description so you guys can go over there and check it out. If you wanna see more of the J Pro, go over to Instagram and follow Adventure Decks and Cara Border. They're coming out with a ton of cool, innovative products, so stay tuned and go ahead, give them a follow. Until next time, I'm Adventure Decks, keep on jeeping. I'm just gonna screw the intima and crust. What? <laughs> if you wanna see more of the J Pro, go over on Instagram and follow Cara Border. Cara, Cara Border. Cara Border. Cara Border. Cara Border. Cara Border. Cara Border.